Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Lawrence Academy Screencasts. The purpose of this screencast is to learn how to write the equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. So let's first get used to some notation. These two lines right here, the two uh, vertical lines next to each other, mean parallel. And these lines right here, this upside down T, that means perpendicular. So what's true about parallel lines? Well, parallel lines always have the same slope. So if we have one line with the slope of 3 fourths, we know any other line that is parallel with that line must also have a slope of 3 fourths. Now let's learn a little bit more about perpendicular lines. So we can say that the slopes of perpendicular lines are negative reciprocals of each other. That means if we're given a line with a slope of 3 fourths, then all we need to do to get the slope of a perpendicular line to that line is flip the slope upside down, so we put the 4 over 3, and change the sign, so we would get negative 4 over 3. Alright, now let's look at this example together. So, here we have a given equation, okay, and the question is asking us to find a perpendicular and a parallel line that passes through this point right here. Okay, so let's first work with the perpendicular line. We know that perpendicular line slopes are negative reciprocals of each other, so if this line slope is one half, then the negative reciprocal of that is going to be negative 2. Okay, again we're going to use this point to create our new equation. So it's going to be y minus that 4 equals the slope, which is now negative 2, times x plus 2. And remember it's plus 2 because the signs change. Parallel lines are actually a little easier because remember, parallel lines always have the same slope, so we don't need to change the slope. We just need to change the point. So our new equation is going to be y minus 4 equals the same slope, remember, 1 half times x plus that 2 again. Try not to be distracted by my lightsaber, but this is the equation of the perpendicular line, and this is the equation of the parallel line. Now this is an example that I want you to try on your own. Um, here's the equation. You see the given point here. And I want you to find one parallel line that passes through that point and one perpendicular line that passes through that point. Alright, good luck.